hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so we are done with gate exam and the next exam which many of you are going to face is upsc geoscientist exam so i'm going to talk about that particular exam because there is very less information about it lot many of you were asking about it you only have few days left for the exam so let's discuss that what you can do in these days so i'll talk about all the things in a summarized way like uh, the exam level the question paper and uh, basically there are two exams paper 1 and paper 2 so i'll be also talking about that how you can prepare paper 1 or how you can get through paper 1 so that your paper 2 marks are going to be included one thing which i want to make very clear that you have to separately pass in paper 1 and paper 2 both once you pass in paper 1 then only paper 2 is going to be considered that is paper 2 is of chemistry paper 1 is of general aptitude so you need to pass in paper 1 as well at least you have to get some marks in paper 1 then only your paper 2 will be considered so we will discuss about everything in this particular video all of you who are preparing for a geoscientist exam almost every one of you prepares for csir net and gate right these are the other exams for which you prepare uh, generally you are not someone who is preparing for UPSC and that's why our paper 1 or general aptitude paper or the aptitude paper or the GS paper basically that is something in which we are not that good at. We are good at chemistry and uh, that is our USP. So we have to focus on that because overall your marks will be recorded or your total marks will be of the both the papers. So you have to score as much as possible in part or paper 2. So you have to make sure that in paper 2 you are getting good marks okay and how you can do that see there are three sections of it organic inorganic and physical there is some portion of analytical also but majority portion is organic inorganic and physical now among all these three organic is something which is very very easy okay it is asked of j level okay I, actually the paper itself is of iit j level but because what you study for csir net and gate that resonates somewhere for organic chemistry and organic chemistry is not much different from there so that's why uh, for geoscientists you don't have to put some extra effort for organic chemistry if you have studied complex reactions you just have to do the simpler versions of that just single step reagents single step reactions will be asked in uh, organic chemistry then stereochemistry is asked uh, iupsc nomenclatures are asked okay uh, then you have uh, like uh, um, uh, the absolute configurations of the molecule based upon the stability of configuration of cyclohexane. So these are some basic things with, from organic chemistry which are asked and I, I have found that organic chemistry is not that difficult. If you are preparing for GATE and CSR net, you will not find any difficulty in solving organic chemistry questions. Inorganic chemistry is, as I said, it is of IIT J level. So there will be so many things which are from CSR, uh, like from 11th and 12th level. That also is not much difficult except your uh, main block elements, okay, or main group elements. So your S block, P block, these from there, a lot of exceptions are asked, a lot of molecules are asked, exceptional cases like, uh, uh, like, like why uh, NH3 or the ammonia molecule is pyramidal and Ni, uh, sorry, uh, N, uh, SI, CH3 whole thrice is planar. So these are sometimes, so, some types of very famous questions from IITJ which are put up over here also. Okay, so that also I don't think you will be feeling much difficulty in doing chemical bonding is asked, uh, VACPR theory is asked, so so many and, and from coordination chemistry also some very basic reactions, some very basic, not reaction but very basic properties of complexes are asked like paramagnetism, uh, like based upon, upon magnetism, based upon uh, the hybridization, based upon geometry of the complexes. So these things like basic rules like your uh, bent rule uh, question based upon that then based upon vscpr theory as i said molecular orbital theory so these are the things which are asked from inorganic chemistry okay so not much which is there but what i have found is physical chemistry is actually something which is little challenging why i am saying so because when you prepare for it uh, for it jam i um, gate csr net there are certain chapters which you actually don't study much like solution is a chapter which is not asked from high weightage in csr net and gate but if you see upsc gsi exam you will find that from these chapters questions are asked so solution is a chapter then uh, kinetic theory of gases that's again one one of the chapter from where questions are asked in upsc geoscientists but you will not find those questions in like lot of questions in gate or csi net that's why these chapters are something which makes physical chemistry a little challenging because you don't look upon these questions then then comes mole concept basic mole concept like molarity normality all those things which are there asked in upsc geoscientist people don't pay much attention about it because they are not asked in csr net and gate so these are something which you should look upon okay these are some small small topics some small small chapters 
which actually contribute a lot of quotients when you come in CS, uh, when you come in uh, UPSC geoscientist. Then electrochemistry is of similar level. Kinetics, basics level of kinetics, like you won't be, they won't be asking enzyme kinetics and so basic kinetic reactions. And then solid state also basic solid state is asked. Then uh, coming to thermodynamics, that also also classical thermodynamics is mostly asked. Statistical thermodynamics won't be asked as such. Uh, so group theory will not be asked as such like like character table related questions and all you won't be seeing that in uh, geoscientist exam then you won't be getting questions from higher level of quantum chemistry but yeah basic level of atomic structures and uh, those things can be asked okay so you should be aware about those types of questions. these are certain chapters from chemistry which you should make your usp you should make your command upon so that you don't miss out questions when they are asked from here because this is your scoring zone this is where you have to score and chemistry paper is of 300 marks you should actually score more than 200 for from there okay 240 230 you should score from there because the questions are not that difficult okay so it's easy to do that okay so that's where you should pay more attention upon now let's talk about paper one that is your general aptitude paper now or general gs paper okay so in that paper you will be having uh, 100 marks for that particular paper and uh, this particular paper includes a lot of types of questions and unless you are preparing for some uh, geoscience uh, sorry upsc exam or some pcs exam or something which has gs as a part and you are studying it separately it's very difficult to score very good marks in this that's why you will see every year where if you will talk to any topper or anyone who has qualified this exam they will tell you that the cutoff goes around 15 to 20 marks if you do 15 20 correct questions from uh, geoscience uh, from this uh, aptitude portion there are high chances that uh, that will be uh, like that is correct and your your chemistry part will be selected and there are high chances that you are going to go through this particular exam you will be able to crack this exam so at least 50 to 20 questions should be your uh, like it, it should be your target should be more than 20 questions you have to do those 20 questions correct so what i have found in the previous years if you if you will see you will find out that around 10 to 15 questions are there they are directly from science like general sciences like biology physics chemistry basic 10th class physics like 10th class biology 10th class uh, chemistry like general things which we see around us so questions based upon that like uh, which light has highest wavelength or lowest wavelength depending upon that then why sky looks blue in color okay then uh, the reason why sun looks red in color in the evening and in the sun, during sunrise and sunset these types of very basic questions which you have already studied in class 9th or 10th those types of things are asked around 15 to uh, like 10 to 15 questions are there then comes your current affairs okay see the exam is in month of february so at least current affairs will be asked till the month of december okay and like mid of february uh, mid of january but you should be prepared with the current affairs till december so from the past three four months like what has happened from uh, january 2022 to december 2022 you should be aware about those okay like all the important events if there is any you know any meetings and all has happened so for that i will suggest you to watch some youtube videos there are a lot of channels who teach for upsc exam uh, like there are certain channels like study iq is there so that's a youtube channel which teaches for upsc geoscientist uh, sorry for upsc exam as such so they cover this current affair part so they will have short videos every weekly updates are there or monthly updates are there so go to their playlist watch those videos check those out so in that way your current affairs part will be covered right and then uh, if you want to study a little bit about geography of india if you want to study about some if you have time and we want to devote that then you can uh, reach out to any of these uh, youtube videos again or you can read out from some books okay there are some books some publishers which make such books which have short questions or short notes uh, about geography of india about history of india like one of those book is lucent okay so lucent publication is there so you can check out their books but i know that time is not much you don't have that much time so what i will suggest you that from these days whatever days you have at least do general sciences which i said class 9th and 10th sciences asked and at least do the current affairs part so that you are uh, prepared for 30 to 35 questions and in the exam you are able to do 20 plus questions from general aptitude part and if you are going to do that correctly your chemistry part if you have done correctly that there are high chances that you are going to get selected in this particular exam 
so many of you were asking about this uh, many of you were asking to make such video so i thought of making it i will give the link of previous videos like previous year solutions are there in this in those videos i have solved previous year's paper with logic with explanation youtube videos are there on my channel also so you can check out those so that you will able you will be able to see those are chemistry questions but you will be able to see what types of questions are asked so organic inorganic and physical i have solved separately so please do check out them look upon the question level see how the questions are asked how to solve them and that will give you a lot of confidence to solve it in exam as well right so that's it from my side for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care if you have any other request if you have any other suggestion you can drop down in the comment section below and see you in the next one take care bye bye hey guys so i teach live on unacademy plus platform here i teach for the csi ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda that's it for this thank you so much